So welcome back everybody to the Unprofessional Kyle channel where I'm Kyle and my goal is to prove you don't have to be a pro to give it a go. And today we're doing autocross racing for the first time. Um, I've never been to an autocross event, let alone raced in one, but I met this guy Ross out at a Fat Track Dig Day event building mountain bike trails in our community. And uh, basically we got to talking and, and he ended up inviting me out to uh, this autocross event that he does. And I got to race his car in it. And uh, we're going to talk a little bit today about autocross, what it is, uh, what kind of goes on, what to expect, and we're just going to talk a little bit about it. So at this autocross event, there were cars of all shapes and sizes in all the years. I'm talking old Corvettes and new Corvettes, okay? But seriously, there were dedicated autocross cars, there were daily driver Subarus. You could race just about anything you want in autocross, and that's kind of the beauty of it. You're really competing against yourself and everybody else. For this autocross event, we went to Thunder Hill Raceway Park in Willows, California. Autocross is generally held on a large asphalt slab with cones marking out the course. The goal is simple. When the green flag drops, you haul ass around the course as fast as you can, and your time will determine your place among the other cars in your class. In short, Classes are determined by specifications, and your local autocross events will have their own class definitions. Wow, bro! <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah. <laughs> that was fast. That was pretty intimidating. I'm less confident in myself at this point. <laughs> So after you've finished your lap, you'll collect your time slip and either get back in line for another lap if your session is still going, or head back to your pit or staging area. So in our case, we had three drivers to one car. So with each driver change, we also had to change the number on the car. This is how they correspond lap times to each driver. Unfortunately, I had to learn the hard way that the GoPro needs to be mounted on the side of the helmet to avoid getting most of the steering wheel in the shot. I saw incremental progress each time, which is really my number one goal in anything. 
<laughs> okay, that's an improvement. Slightly. And at the end of the day, when all the racing is done, it's appreciated if you go out on the track and help pick up all the cones. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you've learned at this point you don't have to be a pro to give it a go. And so if somebody invites you to race their autocross car or any car or your car, just get out there and do it. Go try it. What do you have to lose? What's the worst that can happen? You spin out and hit some cones? It's gonna be okay guys, I promise. So just get out there, okay? Go have fun and give it a go.